These are pictures of my sister Mary and me. We were best friends. I would do anything for her, and I am sure she would do the same for me. Our life was hard, but we were rewarded. True love was waiting for us. His name was James, and I fell in love the first time I saw him. Mary met Will a year later. These are the happiest times of our lives. We thought that nothing would change, but we were wrong. The war started and peace was gone. It seemed as if the world was a battlefield. Death became commonplace in our lives. We knew we only had so much time left to spend together. We wanted to spend every last minute we had with each other. But those last minutes were taken from us. James and Will were drafted. They had to go off to fight for our country, our freedom, and our love. Will and I were drafted into the army. War was awful. We lost many friends and fought many battles, but we still had Mary and Elizabeth. Dear James, there are no words strong enough to describe how much I miss you. It has been so long since you have left, and my life feels empty without you. I have lost certainty in many things, but one thing I am certain of is of how much I love you, and of how much you love me. Nothing can separate us. Always keep me in your heart. With love, Elizabeth. Dear Elizabeth, I've been missing you terribly. Not a day goes by when I don't think about you. It's really lonely out here in the trenches, which is why I'm glad I have Will to talk to. I can't wait to come back and see you again. Love always, James. I miss James so much, but my hopes for a future grew as he continued to respond to my letters. Three months after James and Will left, Mary told me she was pregnant. I tried to seem happy, but we both wondered if the child would ever meet Will. I will always remember that day. We were fighting off enemy forces, but Will wasn't careful enough. He stood up out of the trench right through the line of fire. He was shot. I crawled to his side to stop the wound, but there was nothing I could do to save him. He died. It was the ninth month of Mary's pregnancy when James returned home. I was unbelievably happy, but the feeling faded when we saw that Will was not with him. The shock of Will's death caused Mary to go into labor. We rushed her to the hospital, but it was a difficult birth. The doctors couldn't help Mary, but they saved her baby boy. Before she died that night, James and I promised to take care of her son. Now we're standing at Will and Mary's grave. The war has taken both of their lives, but their memories will live forever in our hearts. Now we're holding their son that never got to see his father. We promised to raise him as one of our own.